Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's Jack and T. So today we're going to be showing you our shoe collection. We, um, I asked you guys on Instagram what type of videos you want to see. We've only been putting up our travel vlogs um, and a lot of you said you would like to see videos about fashion and our clothing or shoe collections, um, stuff like that. So today we're going to show you our lashes. shoe collections. Yeah. So we're going to go by brand and then at the end we're going to tell you um, both our top five favorite pairs of shoes. Let's go. Converse. For you. Which, yeah, yeah, that's for you. For me, I would say. So this one is the Chuck 70s high top black. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're just really easy to go with. Go anything. With. Yeah, they go with anything. You can just put them on with jeans, with. Um... Oh, you're already going on to your next one. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, we're showing our collection, are we? Well, my second favorite color is this one, Sunflower. I think you can still wear with the most most colored pants, especially the raw indigo, I think it will go. And it's like, it stands out a bit more. Yeah, yeah. very. Got the all white. This one, um, I think, um, this one, we, I got the, the most recent from the Japan trip that we went to, got this in, um, Beams Plus. Beams Plus. Yeah, it's the. Where was it? Harajuku, right? Yeah. yeah. And um, it's a Converse Attic. So it's like a. I think they call it the Holy Grail of Converse, which I ha ha it has like the Vibram sole on it. It's pricier. How much did you get? I think it was $200. Mm. I'll bring. I'll show, you, I'll show you the box. The box is it's pretty premium and the. Uh, yeah, it looks really. I think the insole, I think if you wear um, Jack Purcell, I think it has the same Jack Purcell um, sole. I'll show you the box. The box is pretty cool. Comfort art. Yeah, it's come in this um, very premium box. Anyways, that's uh, I would say my most expensive Converse that I own. The other colour I have in the high top Chuck 70s is, is the army green colour. No, like, I was like, yeah, definitely have to get them because they go with um, denim and yeah, all the colours yeah. that we mentioned before. I also have the low... Do you have the low? No, I... No, you don't like the low. I have the... Oh, no, I, I don't have the black, but I got in the blue. I oh, got yeah. for my birthday. So I've got the black, he's got the blue. I like these ones the best. Like these are my most worn Converse actually. And um, what, talking about the stuff that we got from Japan, uh, this was another one that I got from Japan. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got a matching pair. So we, this is another matching pair that we got. Yeah. I. They are the Undercover and Converse collab last year? I year before? Know. We don't know when it came out. I got these. At supply store, it was twenty five dollars each. <laughs> it was so funny, and then I was like, "Oh, Jackie, do you want to?" Twenty five or thirty five. Twenty five. Because mm -hmm. I, I remember giving them fifty. Uh, yeah, we have this one matching. The Another Converse collab. We have the, the EG. engineer garments and Converse. What is it? I think it's a compilation of the con the one stars. And the stars bar. And I also have the white low Chuck parchment. Parchment, sorry. I have the Chuck Seventies low parchment. I don't wear them that often. I don't. I pretty much just wear the black color. But this is like cool to have if I want to change it up a bit. Um, but the black is so much better because they don't get dirty. Yeah. The white just gets dirty like the first day you wear it. Another pair I was going to show you, no, actually two pairs that I want to show you that is very fit in the Converse category. It's made by Warehouse. I got from a collection store. The brand, uh, the Warehouse, um, they're Japanese denim brand, which um, pretty cool, I would say. And another one that I want to show you, it's a small watch I got from Japan as well. Um, I think this is the 
the most well made shoes like the like the converse type looking ones and it's collaborate with um Comme des Garçons so the next category is Vans and um we both got these shoes the matching matching black OG LX slip-ons um I really like these shoes because they're, they're, shoes. They're, yeah. <laughs> they're so easy to wear and um, you can just like slip them on and yeah they're just they're easy to match and easy to just put on and go so and they're I find them very comfortable like I can wear them all day yeah yeah I usually yeah. wear them when I feel like you definitely have to have this pair or like not this doesn't have to be this color but this model in of shoe wardrobe, in your yeah. wardrobe, wardrobe definitely yeah. yeah you go well with denim too another pair i've got of the slip-ons is these blue what blue. color would you call this i think it's called blue marshmallow no i don't know what the actual name of the blue but i know this one called marshmallow um the suede the suede yeah so it's a blue sky blue um suede slip on i don't really like these as much as the black ones i think like the suede is just too hard to maintain the checkerboard that i have i think i wear these pretty often but i don't usually take a photo it's actually a navy checkerboard we thought when we bought them we thought they were black yeah and i bought a pair too we both both bought them together but she got the wrong size. i bought the wrong size yeah I have these ones. It's the what do you call this? Epoch. Epoch, yeah. Epoch Sport, something like that, right? World number one skateboard shoe, apparently. Um, I just wanted something different. I like the color. These are suede too, but um, I think the, the darker color, color is, nice, yeah. is easier to keep um, clean. Star thirty six. I think I like it because um. The toe part here is shorter than the old school and I didn't buy it because of what's that guy G-Dragon was wearing and it was like everyone was going crazy. Another pair that I have to have, the Skate High. I feel like this one can go with any like denim, dickies, anything. Um, The Authentic, but it's like we... Is we it only, Authentic LX? Yeah, we only buy the LX because um, we prefer the thicker sole and it doesn't have the, the black line along the the midsole that's why we like it I just feel like they're better shoe right? It's yeah. just feels, it feels like it's m more well made and more durable or something right? Yeah I think so This one, the the Baiting Ape Slip-On I haven't, wear, haven't worn these for a while we got this real cheap um, we know a friend in Thailand and then um, apparently, I don't even know what They were doing promotion. the weirdest deal <laughs> yeah. where it was like, if you spend up to this much, you get like 80% off or something. Yeah. So, we, <laughs> so we bought like... We I thought it was too good to be true, but then it, I think I bought this for $60. I spent $60 on this and then they were like 300 Right? Yeah. It was about 280 and then I paid $60 for this. We With have no idea stuff. how it works. Yeah. But anyway, we got them. So the next brand is Nike. I had a lot of Nike shoes, but we sold a lot of them. Um, now I've only got so I've got the Vapor Max. Um, the these were like the first the first ones that came out, right? No, I think that one's more first. Ah, oh, well, yeah. I've got two colors. I've got the black grayish color and the that color the, the light brush. gray okay it's one for me um the nike's vapor max tns one of my favorite i would say it more the most comfortable for me since i've been trying on a lot of shoes throughout my years working in shoe store i would say this one one of the most breathable and the most comfortable for me the, the jordan one royal Royals? What is it called? Royal. Royals, yeah. Royal? Royal blue, right? Yeah. I wore them quite a bit, um, and then I haven't worn them really for a while, yeah. but I, like, this was, like, one of my favourite shoes. Probably my... Favourite Jordan. Yeah, well, my, the fav my favourite Jordans, but just, like, 
one of the first shoes that I was like, wow, this is like nice. Yeah, like I really like this pair of shoes, so um, that's why I'm keeping it like just in my collection. I'm not really gonna wear them much because they are pretty trashed, <laughs> and they're like they're not really my style anymore. Anyways, that's um it for Nike. The next. Um, brand that we have a lot of shoes in is Visvum. Yeah. yeah. I'll bring my pair. This is the first um, pair I got. I bought them in. Um, the first time we went to Japan, right? We got. I bought them about f four years ago. The first time I went to Japan. These are the um, La Ramy folk. I'll just show you what they look like. They don't look as good on camera. Yeah. <laughs> but I love them. Um, yeah, so this is... I just think that they're very, like, cute. Like, they're different and they're... No one no one will have these shoes, pretty much. Like, yeah. I'm going to keep them forever, I think. Even if I don't wear them anymore, like, I think these is, like, the most interesting pair of shoes I have. And this is my... I think they're called Decoy Duck Boots. They're pretty cute. I would say one of my... My grail, I would say. I really like the um, on him, like. Yeah, the color is pretty good, and we got. He has a lot of boots, but this is one of my like one of my favorites on yeah. here. Got the Vibram sole. Another pair that we have both got are the Visma Malaceets. Matching. Matching. Again. We used to wear these matching a lot. Yeah. When we first bought them, um, we are definitely that couple that wears. The couple shoes. The matching shoes, yeah. I still have my leather laces. Jackie ripped her, so she got the the whack lace. <laughs> and in my lace. The, the spare lace that they gave us. The next pair I have is the clogs, the Visvum clogs. This is one's my favourite. Oh! Um, oh, they're dusty. I haven't worn them in a while. Yeah. They're... I think they were on sale. They were like really cheap on matches, matches. one day. Yeah. I do love them. Like I love that they're two different shoes. They're yeah. Like I would never have thought to buy something like this, but now that I ha like, I really only bought them because they were Vism and like at that stage uh, we were just so into it. <laughs> and um, but now like looking back, like they are like such a shoe. Uh, a very cool shoe that I can keep in my collection. Okay, Jackie's done this one. This was my first, was it first? No, second pair from my FBT. Jackie wanted to buy this one, but then she, they didn't come, they don't come yeah. in women's size. I loved these shoes at the start. I don't know why, I was like, I just thought they were so nice. They even got the cool full fabric on in the sole. I think that's pretty cool. With the five room so they're super cool i didn't like them at first i bought them just to impress jackie because she wanted it and then at one stage jackie tried and wear it and then they were so big on her it looked so funny ah. and jackie jackie bought this she didn't like them but they were like i would say this is the coolest no i did like them yeah but you you didn't like i wasn't like going to buy them but I tried them on and I was like very into that this look yeah and I, I talked her them. into buying them and I wore them so much yeah and like that's when you when we buy it it is expensive to buy them but if you do the wear over, wear cost, over cost I think we do get them on yeah because we have these for what I have these for like four years yeah and like it's they're different to Converse where, you know, you get a lot of wear out of them, but at the, like at the end you have to throw them out because yeah. they're like trashed. These ones, most of our Visum shoes, we've gotten so much wear out of them, but they're still like, they're, they still are in really good condition that it's like we're going to keep them forever. Yeah. And we're not going to get sick of them because they're, they're not like a trendy shoe. Yeah, they're like, a, like the grown shoes that you can just always bring it out of your closet and yeah. you just wear it whenever. This is my <coughs> latest um, one. It is called the Roland Run? Jogger? Roland Jug. <laughs> uh, yeah, Fire. I really like these shoes. I don't have a lot to say about them. They're very well made. They're very... Oh, they've got the Vibram sole. Did you say that? No. 
So yeah, pretty much major like ninety percent of our shoes are under those categories, those, three, yeah. those brands, Converse, Vans, Nike, Visvum, um, and then we've got. We'll show you the ones that we that we have that are not in those four brands. Yeah, so these are the Grandson Clara. I think yeah. they're called Clara shoes. Um, yeah, I bought these because I didn't really have like a dressy shoe. Okay, this is uh, my latest purchase for myself. Um, the pair of boots, Michael, Jackie. First, I didn't, I wasn't so keen on them, but Jackie loves them. And then I try it on and then now I'm loving it. And the last pair of shoes I have are the um, Margella Tabby Flats. I love these shoes. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're very easy. Versatile. They're really easy to wear. Like you can put them on with jeans with any type of pants and they look really good. So, yes, I highly recommend if anyone wants to buy these or they're thinking about them. This is like, they will. It's a really good buy. For another pair. <clears throat> Jackie bought it for me for my birthday again. This is my favorite pair of shoes for that he has. I'll show you them. But I don't, I don't wear it as much now. But well, I'm going to wear them more because it's winter in Australia now. I got another pair. No, I got a few pair of boots to show you guys. It's one of my, one of my favorite. I wear these out to the formal events and stuff. The the RM Williams, if you guys know about it. I don't it. like them. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie hates them. And another pair, well actually two pairs left that I want to show you. They are the same, the same brand and yeah, made from the same place. Um, they are the Stevenson Irregular Boots. This one is the Stevenson Irregular Boots. This one I wore the most and they're so comfortable my favorite one of my favorite shoe boots that um i wear because it's black and you can go with a lot of stuff i love the lightning the lightning strike stud so cool i still do wish to get the original irregular you're so you're so not interested <laughs> anyways if you interested <laughs> And you want, like all my denim fans, and if you want to hear about what I have and what I've got to say about my other stuff, you can always hit me up. And this one is another one. <coughs> Santa Rosa foot, um, boots as well. This one, I wear it quite a bit as well. But to finish off the video, we are going to show you our top three of um, the shoe, all of the shoes that we just showed you. So do you want to start? With my top three? Yeah, go from three, two, one. Three, two, one. Parallel boots would be my number three. Um, at the moment, I wear these a lot on the weekends. Number two, um, this one. I haven't worn these a lot, but they would be my second favorite. Number one. The third. My number one would be these. These are my number one. I wear these pretty much anywhere, everywhere. All the photos. All day. All day. <laughs> yeah, my number one. Jack 70s. It has to be 70s, not the, not the regular ones. I don't like the regular ones. Oh, the Made in Japan one is pretty cool. The shape is the shape that I like. And the stitching. Okay, you. Okay. For me, I would say this one. These ones are my number three. My second is the Margella um, Tabby, oh, Tabby Flats. Um, I just love these. They're like <coughs> a different, different look to what I usually wear. Um, but you can yeah bring it out any, any yeah I can any I can wear it with whatever I normally wear, but it just like adds a little. A little something different. And my number one are the low uh, Chuck 70s in the black. Like he said, this is the one that I wear like all the time. Um, it's Anywhere, like my number everywhere. one go-to shoe. Goes with everything. 
you'll see me the most in these like 90% yeah. of my sh my photos. photos will be in these ones we hope you guys enjoyed our um collection shoe collection video <laughs> and um comment down below if you want to see more of this style of video um yeah. and like suggestions anything um we're really like very new to the we're new to it so we want to know what you guys want to see and and um we still have more video to edit for japan and thailand so yeah, we'll be doing um, videos every week still. Yeah. Peace. Peace.